You have already learnt that the system of rational and irrational numbers is together known as the real number system. Let us recall the kind of numbers that compose each collection and their decimal representation. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written in the form A by B, where A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero. Their decimal representation is either terminating or non-terminating and recurring. Irrational numbers are those numbers that cannot be put in the rational form. They always have a non-terminating and non-repeating pattern of numbers in their decimal representation. When working with irrational numbers, it helps to remember the following rules. Square root of AB equals square root of A into square root of B. Also, square root of A by B equals square root of A divided by square root of B. The algebraic identities that you learnt in previous classes are applicable to all real numbers. Therefore, root A plus root B into root A minus root B equals A minus B. Similarly, A plus root B into A minus root B will equal A square minus B. These are true because the algebraic identity A plus B into A minus B equals A square minus B square. Root A plus root B whole square equals A plus twice root of the product of A and B plus B. You must have learnt that the collection of rational numbers is closed under the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Do you recall what is meant by the word closed? Click on the word closed to recall its definition. The word closed simply refers to the fact that the sum, difference, product and quotient of two rational numbers will always be a rational number. Let's check if the system of irrational numbers is a closed system. Click each button to learn more. As you can see, when two irrational numbers are added, the sum may or may not be an irrational number. Again, when two irrational numbers are subtracted, the difference may or may not be an irrational number. It can be concluded from these examples that when two irrational numbers are multiplied, the product may or may not be an irrational number. When two irrational numbers are divided, the quotient may or may not be an irrational number.